Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee is running for a Senator Corker's seat in 2018 because he's quitting. And she joins us right now with reaction from Nashville. Uh, Congresswoman, I know you're not in a great spot because you're friends with Senator Corker and, and you're a big supporter of President Trump's. But in this case, can you really support Senator Corker going to the New York Times, ripping the president? Brian, I think that when we hear things like this, my first reaction is I'm not going to get in the middle of anybody else's argument. And I will tell you, I think most of my colleagues in the House and I are working diligently and want to work with our colleagues in the Senate and stand with President Trump to get this agenda across the finish line. He ran on it. He promised action, and it is up to us to deliver. And the main thing the American people ask us is, when are you going to get Obamacare repealed, taxes reformed, build a wall, and when are right. you going to start on infrastructure? Well, do you think Senator Corker, who's chairman of Foreign Relations, who's got knows that the problem the president's played is a North Korea crisis like we have not seen before, and the recertification of the worst Iranian deal you can imagine, which, according to Senator uh, some of Senator Corker's maneuvers allowed it to go forward. Yesterday, he told the New York Times the president acts like he's doing the, the apprentice or something as a president. I wouldn't expect Senator Schumer to say that. Comments like that are not going to be helpful when they come from anyone. But there again, I'm not going to get in the middle of a fight. We have a lot of things that we have to get done by the end of the year. Right. And it is important that we in Congress focus on the issues that the American right. people want us to focus on and nothing else. Congresswoman, this as, is, as yeah. a lawmaker, very few people outwork you, whether it's the yes. convention you're putting together or uh, agenda you're looking to push forward with you in the minority or majority. I've seen it up close. Now you're yes. making the decision to jump in uh, and become the next senator from Tennessee and replace Senator Corker. And to do that, you got to run ads. And you chose right. to run this ad on Twitter. Let's watch. I'm Marsha Blackburn. I'm a hardcore, card-carrying Tennessee conservative. I'm politically incorrect and proud of it. I'm 100% pro-life. I fought Planned Parenthood, and we stopped the sale of baby body parts. Thank God. Well, Twitter said uh, that is too inflammatory. We will not run that ad. What's your reaction? It is astounding to me that Twitter, which is an important outlet, would choose not only to censor a political ad, but that they would censor a pro-life message. This is a pro-women, pro-baby, pro-life message. And yes, indeed, as chairman of the Select Investigative Panel, the work that right. our committee delivered stopped this practice of selling baby body parts. It's something that people wanted to see shut down. And you know what is so amazing? Twitter can go out there and allow all of this showing take a knee during the national anthem, but they will not allow a pro-life, pro-woman, pro-baby right. message. And what was their what was their explanation? Their explanation was it was too inflammatory and that it would evoke a negative response. But if I were to take that out, then omit the, right. the pro-life part, then they would allow right. us to push forward that video. So I, we just found this. This is advertised. Twitter accepted this from Neral. The GOP's 20-week abortion ban will harm women and families and criminalize doctors for providing routine care. That, doesn't, that seems like it might be a sensitive topic that might, some people might deem right. as hate content, maybe you, but they took that money, double yes, standard. And Yes, it is a double standard. And while they doubled down and issued a second statement today, right. not disallow, they disallowed my video, I said, look, I'm just doubling down right. on the fact that, yes, I am pro-life and I stand by my message. Congresswoman, thanks so much for joining us today. Good Staying to be up late. with you. Thank you. Right. And uh, now you're, uh, the Twitter rejected you, but we said yes. So at least <laughs> you, have, you end on a happy note. Uh, meanwhile, you coming up it. straight ahead, one of the issues that we'd be facing.